mentioned that you are five and a half months yes, pregnant. Yes, I'm not fat. Thank you for bringing that up. Uh, I am just pregnant. And, and uh, <laughs> I, I would think, I know when my wife went through this, we, we have two kids. Mm -hmm. She would wake me up at night and have crazy dreams, intense crazy dreams. It's something yes. about the hormones, being, uh, being, being pregnant. Are you going through that? I am so going through this. I wake up and bore my husband every morning with my dreams. I've had a frequent dream where I'm killing someone. And I had a dream where I was killing a woman and she was broken into pieces and I just kept hammering in her face. I don't know what this means. This is awful. What? You can't see, but right now I'm hitting a button under my desk. And I'm just gonna like... Security is rushing in here quickly. What do you mean you have a, a frequent uh, I don't, I think dream where you're killing people? Yeah, where does that, where's I that don't come know. from? I have, I have this dream where I'm killing someone. I think I'm afraid of making a mistake or something, or I'm going to do something bad as a parent. But I have this dream where I kill someone, and sometimes it's a woman, sometimes it's a dragon, sometimes I have no idea. I, I just what think are you everyone, eating? What are you eating just before you go to too, bed? Too much spicy food. Okay. That whole thing where you don't eat spicy food when right, you're you pregnant. Right, you can't do that. Oh, no, I take it down. So there's a lot of... Now, what I'm getting from this, and I'm not a, uh, a therapist yet, but I'm working on so getting on my license. Um, you sound angry. Are you an angry person? <laughs> I, I, I mean, I definitely have Because you don't seem like an angry person, but you say you have frequent dreams of murder. Well, I am half <laughs> murder. I am half Korean, and we do have something that my girlfriend informed me of. It's called K-Rage. Has anyone ever heard this? I've Cor not heard of K-Rage. Korean Rage. rage. Um, I don't know where it comes from, but I think that there's a lot of drinking involved, but um, I definitely have a temper. Uh, it's, I'm so mellow now, now that I'm pregnant and I'm married, I'm happy, so there's no more. But you're saying that uh, this is something that's in Korean culture where yes. you get angry? You, there's just like a, like a temper that, people think of Asians as really docile, but Koreans are quite fiery and, and quite fierce in their, in their temperament, so I definitely have like K-Rage. And my girlfriend's always like, you know, don't go North Korean on me when I lose my temper. <laughs> really? <laughs> She's like, listen, KK, which means crazy Korean. Yeah. Um, what a so, very understanding friend yes, you have. This is my best friend, who's Nicole. Your, who's your friend, Don Rickles? <laughs> <laughs> you know. Come down there, KK. Uh, yeah, that's good. To I, you know, it's funny them. because, uh, I, well, I know that I, I'm Irish, as you can so imagine. Do you have a temper? Well, I, I have a, a, there's an Irish rage that I have, but the Irish don't do anything with it. <laughs> you you just, know, it all like gets internalized into weird passive aggressive so behavior. You have lots of heartburn. Yeah, a lot of heartburn and everything, but yes. it sounds like you act on your rage, or at least you do in your dreams, where you smash yes. people's faces. So I think I work it out in my dream. I, you know, I karate chop and kill someone, and then I, you know, I wake up in the day and I'm ready to go. But I think I work it out in my dreams. Okay. But it's normal, I think, in pregnancy to have. Well, maybe it's not normal to kill people in your dreams. But no, I've never heard that before. No, I think no, you're maybe insane. Maybe not, but you know, it's normal to. Andy's have... shaking his head no, behind no. you. You guys have I never read, had a I read Doctor Spock, and there's no murder dreams. <laughs> Yeah, well, I guess you're not pregnant, and that releases a lot. <laughs> I don't think pregnancy's ever been used as an excuse for <laughs> murder I fantasies. I use it as an excuse for everything. When oh. I want to eat, like, a breakfast burrito, my husband's like, it is not your pregnancy. You just want to eat bad food. Right. Yeah. No, I, I have an older brother who's clearly been pregnant for, like, 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> just... It's for the baby! <laughs> What baby? <laughs> um, okay, we have, a, uh, we have a clip here from Falling Skies. Uh, a, a terrific show. Uh, there's been an alien invasion, and, and you play a doctor who's really trying to help people. I play a former pediatrician, and I think in this scene, I'm helping one of the soldiers who's injured and all hell breaks loose. So. Okay, let's take a look at this clip from Falling okay. Skies. Uh, help us get him upstairs. <laughs> No, I'm not leaving you. This is weird. What? These holes weren't here before. Matt, don't! Come here! I think we cracked where the bad dreams are coming from. <laughs> I don't understand it. Where does that It must from? be what I'm eating just before I go to bed. What did you do at work today, honey? Oh, I saw aliens crawl out of a corpse. <laughs> I'm so used to it. <laughs> <laughs> but still, I think it's the breakfast sandwich. No.